St. Joseph's Boys High School in Kitale have been crowned the national table tennis champions five times in the last eight years. But that was not the case before the arrival of coach Austin Musumba. Despite training on worn-out dining tables and a lack of adequate training facilities, coach Musumba has defied the odds to turn around their fortunes. Our reporter Elijah Oko tells us more. Steadfast, determined and disciplined are the three words that fully describe St. Joseph's Boys High School Kitale Games Master Austin Musumba. For close to a decade, Jobo, as it's fondly known, has been churning out top table tennis players. They have contributed to the rugby fraternity as well, with Kenya Simba's captain Dan Sekuta attending his secondary education at the institution. However, that was not the case when Coach Musumba joined the school back in 2012. It's not a popular game in most schools. So, like, when I was in St. Joseph's, where most of the students know rugby as their game, so it was very hard to introduce, but slowly by slowly, when I go to class, I talk about the game. When I teach English, I talk about the game. Then uh, I made friends, friendship with the boys. I don't care in them, they are good to me. Then. That's how it's begun. Driven by passion and desire to reach the national level, Musumba and his boys put in the hard yards in the dining hall of St. Joseph's, playing on dining tables instead of the recommended table tennis surfaces. It started in 2012 when I was uh, employed on uh, BO, BOM terms in St. Joseph's boys. I found out that uh, they had uh, no tables and nowhere to play from. Then I began with... Uh, Dining hall tables. After testing their skills at the national level in 2013, winning became second nature and their minimum goal from then on was to qualify for the nationals and be crowned champions of the country. The school has won the national title since 2014 with exceptions being 2020 and 2021 due to corona. However, the pinnacle of the journey came in 2019 when they were crowned the national champions and they followed that up with the East African crown. In 2019, we won the Nationals and the East African Games in Arusha. And uh, I had very good and young players. It was very interesting for me. And I was happy because all those boys were in my class, where I'm the class teacher. For Musumba, there are key factors that have propelled the team to achieve this success, which at some point was inconceivable for a school that took table tennis as a leisure sport. If you are in discipline, you can't play in the, in the team. I'm also a disciplinarian. I don't discuss discipline. So that's how, how we have made it to this. And we also train very hard. We train. Most of them don't go for holiday. We use our holiday for training. Playing table tennis has had a positive impact on their academics. He also looks at the performance of this. Overall performance, not only in table tennis, so that the parents cannot have many problems with him. Not chunga class. Na to mentor class na kwa game pia. Na tongelesha kila mahali. Class ni mwode mfiti na kwa game pia ni kwa kumpo. This year, Idris Kulubi was crowned the most valuable player at the National School Games and he attributes all the success to the man he calls his mentor. The main person in my table, in the, in my table tennis journey up to now because he's the one who reminds us there in school to train, road work, fitness and also... It's a disciplined man, so you also have to be disciplined in the team. With the return of the school games after the end of the pandemic, Coach Musumba is more determined to nurture more students to achieve greater success and leave an indelible mark in table tennis. Uh, to my competitors, they should train harder. So that, because uh, my boys are hardy. They train, they run, they are very hardy. So they should train harder and they should have the resilience in order to beat us, or else we shall remain green. Elijah Oko, NTV Sports.